something's fishy. Hey guys, I'm Shark back doing a how to play Alawi top in season 11 where we're going to be going over how to play the early mid and late game, how to team fight, when to split push and solo carry every single one of your games. So like usual, if you enjoy finding it helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. All right, so those are the runes we're taking. We are taking Conqueror, not Cope the Grace, but the Last Stand and Resolve in the secondary tree. The runes we are taking have the highest win rate and same with our build in Master Tier Plus and this lane we're playing against Mordekaiser. A pretty medium difficulty matchup since he could pull us into his realm, make our tentacles disappear, and well, I mean, I do have the ability to beat him. Early game, usually you don't have the damage to solo kill your laners unless you have this around. They go for a long trade. You could hit them with your, uh, what's it called? You could hit them with your W and win like that but otherwise you just want to be playing safe most of the time especially into ranged lanes and we see their comp is very heavy ap so this is one of the games where plated steel cap might be a little bit worse than the merc treads like literally the exception for ap 180 but most of the time you want to go plated steel cap right <clears throat> he's level two that's fine i'm not expecting to kill him pre back but Maybe after we pick up, well, of course, every game you go Gore Drinker. After we pick up one of these to actually give us some damage to work with. And Alawi mid to late game, I mean, I don't want to say simple, but in many people's eyes, the way you team fight with him is, is pretty simplistic. You press R and then you W. We W that so that way we would CS it under tower. Get that. We hit him now we have e you max the e e oh we hit the minion feels bad i wonder if he wants to go for a trade yeah he's shoving in the wave it's cool we just w'd him for extra damage got the cannon ggs we win i'm not i'm just kidding but yep oh he w shielded it but we got a really good trade off so that's good he took D shield compared to. Oh, we actually hit him. We just stacked Conquer. Let's go. We could look for a trade since our tentacles right there. Yep. He knows that. So he has to respect us a bit more. Yeah. Tentacles everywhere. Ah, he got it. Got it. So we could look to shove in them back, actually. No joke. Shove in them back. The reason why is because next wave's a cannon. And then we don't have to TP. Uh, if we can actually land some of these uh, CS here. Okay. Feels bad. There's no way Zach wins that. There's no way. I'm going to recall. Zach just does not win against Graves early. It's a cannon wave, so it's going to bounce back eventually. And we can get what we call a cheetah recall. Where we recall, we don't lose much. And it's just, it puts us in a really good spot because we're going to have TP advantage. Because it's going to shove and then we could set up a freeze later on. We could do a lot. And if he backs, maybe, I don't think he can get much than an Amplifying Tome or Dark Seal. So, either way, I mean, that's fine with me. Graves mid. He's trying to make proactive plays. Yeah. Not bad. Knowing that we're playing against Mordekaiser, it's fine. It's like his long trading is not even the ba that bad. It competes with us since he has his passive, which is his ring. But especially into the mid to late game team fights, I think I'll do better than him. Just a little prediction. And that tends to be how things play out. Max the E, especially if you're playing against melee people. Hit him with a Q. Oh my, so much conquer, so much healing. Yeah, are we beating him in CS? We're beating him by one now. That's pretty cool. That's what I was saying. Like, if you could just stay at the wall, you could beat him in 1v1 situations pretty easily. So, let's cue that. And then, yeah, there's a tentacle on the wall. 
Let's shove it in. And in fact... The, oh, we missed the cannon. The reason we could fight that is because he's level 5. If he was level 6, I think we could... Well, no, he could pull us into his romp. That's why I was iffy on that. I actually forgot if he was level 5 or 6, but we were able to make that work. So let's get the phage. I'm, I'm waiting for it. it. It's much more worth knowing that we could probably 1v2 now. Uh, we might lose some minions under tower. But yeah, he's not even like hard pushing it. So we could just walk back to lane, maybe lose two minions, and it's still worth to hold the TP. There's the graves. Okay. Exhausted. Oh, they got nothing. They got nothing. I, I could tell my team's getting tilted. Oh! <laughs> Wait, no. No, 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 no. Nico, Nico, Nico. Ah! Fail. Okay. Here we go. Oh. We have no... Oh! Oof. Yeah, he's got us good. Big time. Let's try to... Oh, we try to hit him with the Q for healing. That's good. Wait, this is playing out. Knew he was trying to Q me there. Okay. We need a pop of corrupting. He has two potions. Okay, that's actually really good sustain on his part. Feels bad. Okay. And I have no tentacles set up. This is really bad. What the heck? I actually threw my I threw my landing phase in three steps. <laughs> just just greeting when I don't have my setup. Because the Lowey setup means so much. We could damage him so much here. And we're... Oh, he W'd all my damage. Holy fuck, man. This guy is something else. No, man! See? That's what I was talking about. That's why he's like a... He's like a minor. He could literally outplay this if he plays it correctly. Medium difficulty matchup. Not a counter, though. Usually, like, Timo Quinn counter or Lowey. Because you could just mess up everything before he could even set up. So that's the hard lanes. But well, we could recall here. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. The only lane that's hard losing is bot. But bot's like the most manageable lane, in my opinion, to deal with. Okay. I don't want to TP. It's crashed. Now, there's no word for me to TP on bot. But. Eh, there's just no point in TPing. We could extend our, 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 our CS lead, right? Or just our XP lead. But that's so unnecessary. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. Our R's probably come up at near the same time. So that's a good thing to note. And we could set up. Or stuff like right here if our passive comes up here come on yeah they can't spawn like next to each other that's fine that is a-okay he's level eight Cute. we have e and we have tentacle next to us so, we were able to win that. Healing reductions, another counter. If Mordekaiser were to get that early on, I don't know, it might mess up his build a little bit, but it will definitely help. We could play more on the aggressive side of things here. And if the Zac comes top, I am very confident I could 1v2 it. E. Alright. Q. Feels bad. That flash completely outplayed him. <sighs> Damn, his R literally just pulls my tentacles away. It's actually tilting. Okay. Oh, don't wait. <laughs> now I'm trolling. Ah, I, should, I literally knew. I thought I could heal up a little bit more, E him, and knowing he's a tank and can't burst me, I could have won that because I had a tentacle right there. But that's just so greed. I shouldn't have done that. All right, let's get pickaxe. 
iron spike whip is basically like mini gore drinker so that would have been ideal to get but hey we'll be tp'ing back to lane Zack got a kill. Tank junglers versus graves. I feel like if they get ahead, they could literally 1v1 graves. Hmm. Grag is mid. That's so cheese. I miss seeing that. That was like a pick. That was a legit viable pick in season, I believe. What was it? Four? Or five? An assassin pick. I remember. Cloud9 High. Played it. It's when I started playing League. I think it was Season 5. Pretty cool game. Five times less the toxicity in all regions. Alright. Let's get back into this. Oh. Oh my god. Q. They have like one second to react to your Q. We're trying to hug this wall because you you know why. It's it's fine. We could just auto it and it's easy free damage. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go. Oh, I feel like if he let himself tank it, it actually would have been worth. Oh yeah, we cheese them good. Get it. We cheese them good. We cheese them good. Now he has to back, I think. We have two points into our R. That's like a good mid-game power spike. Yep, we cheesed him good. <laughs> oh man, now he has to back. He comes like so close to winning these situations, but he just never wins them. And we have a CS lead, kill lead. After we get Gore Drinker, we slash around. I'll take this. Yeah. Take it. I will take it. He, she's just gonna walk. Yeah, there's no point in rotating. She's just gonna walk there and then I can't do anything. So, I could E him? Feels bad. Get one more tire blade in. There we go. Turret platings are falling soon. As soon as we got that one. Sweet. Good cheese, good cheese. Alright, we're gonna back. It's not a cannon, so it's not like the most ideal back, but hey. It's fine. The again, exception of getting Merc Shreds, most of the time you want to go pleated steel cap. But Oh You guys are getting cheese so hard by this Zach. How is he taking this much damage? Nah, this is what the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god. If Jinx got her passive reset from an auto, yeah, that would have been more of a one fight. I don't know, man. I don't know. Phew. Still winnable for them. And us. It's like an even game in a way. It is an even game. What am I saying? When it comes to gold, at least, I think since... Nah, nah, it's even in gold, basically. It's an even game. Phew. If I hit both, it's worth. Even if I tank a tower shot. It's like... It's like that is a playstyle to just permanently shove and then look to always try harassing him under tower. I need my W thing against the wall so I can do things like this. Hit. Plus 25. Easy claps. And there goes a good amount of your HP. Switch there. Righty. Alrighty. Let's whack this tower. Like we're gonna whack you. Easy claps. Whack. We're gonna E. We're gonna... Oh, <laughs> what are you doing, man? You think you could arm me under tower to outplay me? No. No, no, no. Alright, let's shove this in. Look to shove in this cannon wave. I'm gonna gore drinker. Because we're not going to use it in the next 11 seconds. So wave clear with it. It's fine. We're going to back and get our item. Alright. Second item. Now it is, uh, what's it called? Pretty standard to go Sterix Gauge. Sterix Gauge. 
And then after that, I mean, you could go Black Cleaver, Ravenous Hydra. If you're ahead and snowballing, you could go... Oh, I don't know. Death Dance, if the situation calls for it. Knowing that Death Dance does not have the highest win rate for third item, though. Usually it's not... You don't usually go it. You don't go it, usually, on Alawi. And they're not even heavy AD, so I don't even think it'll be that good. So, Stark's Gage, Hydra, Black Cleaver. You want to probably prioritize those more. And I actually think I want to wait until the R's before... Okay, he's just... He, yeah, he's uh, a scared little guy. Scared little guy indeed. Look. At the top diff. But... After you go those two damaging items, you go Force of Nature, Spirit Visage, Dead Man's. Very tanky items. So that way you're basically tanking their damage and then doing a lot of damage. So. Oh shoot. I mean. That's good. Now we have a W. Alawi's really good at armor shredding. For tanks. At least. E nah. Feels bad. I mean, Zach is top. He's prioritizing top instead of bot. Usually, win condition is mid. And our mid is winning by quite a bit. Guys, Rift. You'd also prioritize that. Nice ward. <laughs> nice ward. Half your HP is gone. <laughs> exactly. Nice ward, man. Man, this, this champion actually makes me... It, it, you know, it pains me, really. I think this is where Zack tries to come in. I don't know. I just want to escape. And E him at the same time. <laughs> oh my, this champion is so AIDS. I can't. He got Riftmaker, which is actually pretty good against the Lowey. One shot's the back wave now, so we actually have wave clear to work with. And he has to get ganked. I don't know, grouping is kind of risky knowing that they have a lot of CZ. Nah, we can't. Now nah, we can't. Alright. I'm gonna take tower recall and then start heading towards drag. I might even TP on there. I think I will. Mid is sieged. Let's get our sterics. TP to try to fight this. And this is where our mid game shines. All right. Oh. All right, that's fine. We got drag. That's all we want. And I think win condition this game is probably split push. Because it's not like my team is completely inting. And I could probably draw two top. So. Let's split. And Mord is still top. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Try to eat. Eat! Nah. I mean, I... I'm not, I'm not really a bruiser. <laughs> There's not much I could do there. But hey. I think my team should give me a assist here. And then I'll just continue the push top. We're up 88 CS. So that's like 5 kills worth of gold. Because every five, 15 minutes is 1 kill worth of champion gold. I don't know if they win team fights. Because bot lane diff. Especially if I'm not there. 
I feel like they should have stalled. Yeah. They probably should have stalled. Probably should have stalled. Feels bad. Now Mordekaiser's here. Because you're... They're, of course I win this 1v1. But they're most likely going to bring two or three people. And then that's when you want to engage the fight with the Pike. Or the Gragas. Now no one's fighting for any objective. So it's useless if I get caught. So I'm just going to back. Recall and then start building towards Black Cleaver. Because I need Armor Shred knowing that they have two tanks. Afterwards I'll probably get Spirit Visage. Yeah. Spirit in this game. And then afterwards, GA. That's how we're going to itemize against them. Hmm. I want my moment to shine. Run it top team. Or maybe I could 1v3? Question mark. I'm inting. Eh, feels bad. Feels bad. Yes. I win. Give me that assist. Get the jinx. I'm going to eat. Alright, that's the best I could do. And then that's going to give a slow. Ah, I wanted it. You know, how are they getting soloed? That's what I'm wondering. They're getting soloed by a Nico Zack. Mostly the Nico. Nice. We actually won the team fight. Uh And Zach's dead. Is that Baron? Nice. I think it is. Alright, team's got it. Graves, Pike, Gragas. I'm just gonna back and then get Kindle Gem. Uh, wonder how this is gonna go. <laughs> Yikes, team! I I actually don't think we could have rushed it. So, yeah, our split push is working this game. Let's head it back top. Rinse and repeat. We didn't even have proper tentacle set uh placement. And it still worked. So nice. Even if he pulled us into his R, we still win these. I have TP so I could just show up to the fight if need be. But hey. I gotta get my split on here. Dragon fight. Is Mordekaiser even here? I think they got it. Oh my. How do you miss smite? Did you miss smite? Oh, you just didn't smite at all. I'm cheesed. And since Jinx got her passive auto, I think she just wins that. Or they win that. Knowing that is Zack and he's not going to die. Oh man, that feels bad, actually. Feels bad. I don't want to tank too much damage from tower. They're coming to recall. I hope I could take inhib. Keep missing cannons. I wanted to play on the aggressive side of things. He knows he got top diffed. I'll take that plus 50. And then I want to back with enough for black cleaver, so... I'm just gonna take wolves. Back. Who does he think he is? One moment. New, no, not like this. 
I knew they were all there. That's why I was saving my R. Not like this. I thought if I could have two rotations of my R and W, I literally would have won that. Oh, man. Feels bad. And they got shot down gold. Yikers. And I think Zach's just going to out-tank them. Oh, maybe not. Tank nerfs actually worth? Or actually good? Nope. Well, I mean, hey. We eventually got him, but... I mean, he, he, he tanked a little bit too much damage there. Okay. That's F's in chat. I'm pretty sure the tank meta died down a little bit. They nerfed the HP on every myth tank mythic item. So they're more balanced. Yeah. I think that's what they did. It worked a little bit, but... I mean, they're still really strong. They're still S tier. But I guess more balanced. Hey, at least it's more of a reason to play tanks top instead of bruisers. Like in 95% of games you see. Because now they have carry potential. It's even easier to do that since they're tanks. And then they don't even have too many mechanically difficult things to accomplish. Can I do it? I know Zack is coming. Bot. Oofs. I gotta book it. Oh, he did this to me. <laughs> we did it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, team. That, that was literally 1v5 pentakill. Worthy. They got my heart racing. Woo! Oh, my. We're actually crazy late game. No joke. That's a Lowie for you. You press RW, easy wins. All right, let's back. And then, like I said, if we had to get an item, Jinx wasted all of her resources on us. Imagine. And then Pike ints it at the end. Uh, Spirit Visage, right? Yeah, Spirit Visage, you usually go tank after you... After you... Uh, After you get your two to three bruisery damage items. So we're going to start doing that by getting Spirit Visage. And then <laughs> what do we do now? Split bot? If we take that tower, I mean, I guess we're sieging. It would be more realistic to go Baron and then siege, but. Yeah. Feels bad. I don't think we have the damage to kill. Yeah. Our R is on a uh, 40 second cooldown, so it doesn't matter as much. We just chunked her. E. Come on. Okay. Oh man, we don't have E. Gore Drinker. Hey, we got the Jinx. Because of our passive. Double kill. Man, we are just... We are something else. We're so tanky. This natural tankiness is just too much. And we heal every time we hit a tentacle. And yeah, it's a tank. We, we don't take L's against tanks. Give me that... Solo carry, 11 and 2. Most damage dealt. Most work done. Let's get Spirit. And then last item, I'd probably get Guardian's Angel. Yeah. Most likely. And they're still playing this out. Well, as we close out, like usual, if you enjoyed, found it helpful, make sure to smash the like. Comment, subscribe, 
check out the Twitch, join the Discord, turn on that post notification bell, and I'll catch you next time. And that's how you play a Kali. Mordekaiser. I mean, Alawi. In season 11. Easy claps.